So I've been thinking a lot about how I help clients overcome anxiety or what psychologists call anxiety. I just call it fear. But because most people call it anxiety, I'll use that word. Fear is on a continuum. On one end of the spectrum, you've got an uneasy feeling. Then you might have something that someone might interpret as concern, then maybe worry, then maybe they know they're afraid or fearful or scared. And then you go to the other end and you got outright panic attacks and terror. And hypnotism, if you have the right person, and it's always about the right person and everything, isn't it? Um, we completely eradicate that. And it doesn't matter if it's the generalized kind of fear or specific fears, like fear of rodents or fear of blood or fear of elevators. Hypnotism can work on that. And the best way to do it is to ask the subconscious in the right state of mind, which would be a deep state of hypnosis, to collect data on the actual fear. The subconscious is like a biological computer and it can definitely do this. And it will, it wants to help. So first you have to get that level of hypnosis, then you have to ask, then you have to give it some time to do that. So the first session is about laying that kind of groundwork in my work. And the second session is about looking at the data that comes up. What is this data? Well, the data is moments from the client's life that had in, uh, that happened that have gone on to cause this problem. And some of the moments are things the client knows about already. It can also be things they haven't thought about in a long, long time. And then it often is things that it seems like they're making them up like it's imaginary. But within each of these moments is that same feeling. And the subconscious will show us how to go to the very first moment, the root cause. And once we neutralize that, that's a game changer for sure. Now, you don't have to have a good memory, which is really weird. People say, but I don't have a good memory. Yes, it's okay. The recordings are there. Everything that's ever happened to you is recorded in the subconscious. You just have to have the right level of depth in terms of depth of hypnosis, and you have to ask the right questions. It's kind of like any time you want to get something out of a computer, you know, you got to you got to know how to ask. Like when you Google something, you're looking for the right information based on, and you'll get it based on what you ask. 